can I ask you, Chopa, how many people have you personally killed? Okay, so before I show you this video, I just want to cl clear up some things uh, that maybe weren't so clear when you're watching. Um, this man was once the epitome of strength and health. He was, the, he was the, the best warrior in his village. That's why he was sent to go in and fight and collect these heads. Um, he's now a very, very sweet Christian man. It's not perfect. It's not a perfect interview. Uh, this isn't Coffee with Cudden or, or a late night talk show. It's me using a translator to, to try our hardest to communicate and ask him questions that he, he may not have been asked before. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Nagaland, I love you. Northeast India, I love you. The comments have been amazing, asking me to come to your towns and your villages. I promise I will make it. So wait for me, okay? The main reason I wanted to come here to Longwa uh, was because I heard about headhunters. Now, headhunters uh, are men who are very, very old now because in the 1930s, uh, their ritual was abolished. Their ritual is fighting and cutting off the heads of their enemies. And I'm very lucky to be sat here with my friend Chopa and we're hopefully going to interview him and ask him questions. Okay. For sure. So first, Chopa, how old are you? No, <laughs> And can I ask you, Chopa, how many people have you personally killed? Nanga Gan or Bilang it, Jah. Gan Guya, Sayam Bego, Gaja Gago Nang M. Nagago, Adam Obi, and you will be long blank. But uh, can I ask how many people? How many people? Three. Three. So you personally have cut off three heads. Yeah. Because mm. like uh, he he became very old. Yeah, so of he, course. He don't understand what we ask him. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. And mm. the the tattoos, sir. I see these tattoos. Mm. Can you tell me a bit more about the tattoos? Namas mm. nyama gan langatua natatua na gan langatunga tubiti balatu pe chani mek ah dekha. Hmm. Ile ko koy ka mona. Gan langatunga. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, just tattoo. Yeah. Those who just participated in a war, they have a tattoo on the chest. Yeah. And uh, those who chop heads, they have a tattoo on the face. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And I'll ask you one more question. Mm. When you killed a man and chopped their, his head, mm. how did you feel? Mm. Can we try to ask him how he felt? Is that okay? Mm. Feel very, very proud. Very proud. Oh. It's a proud mm. feeling. Mm. Uh, you would come back, he would come back, he would take to collect a head, come back, and it would be the proud. And what would you do with the head? What would he do with his with the head? Mm. We have a morong. Mm. Morong is a, it's like a school. Mm -hmm. So everything is taught in a morong, like a shooting gun, using masses, mm -hmm. everything spear, everything is taught in a morong. Mm. It's like a school in the old day. Mm. So everything is taught in a morong. So they used to uh, bring the skull, to the head in the yeah. morong. Yeah. You would bring the skull to the mo 
Morong. Morong. Bring yeah. the skull to the Morong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, <coughs> thank you so much for allowing me to speak with you. Okay, Chopo. Yeah. Uh, I really am very grateful to talk to you. Uh, and uh, so one of the things about these guys is that once uh, Chopo's generation passes away, there will be no more headhunters. Yes, true. Because this was abolished in, in the 1930s, so... Um, or the 1940s. So after Chopo passes away and, and a couple of the other members of the village, there will be no more headhunters. True. So if you want to come and meet Chopo, come in the next year. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because it's not going to be possible. Yeah. Uh, the, thank you so much. Yeah, they're called the last headhunters. The last headhunters of Nagaland. I'm sitting with one of the last headhunters of Nagaland. True. True. Okay. Mai Tong, Chopo. Mai Tong. Um, I think it's important to, to note, note that Mate when up. you come here, mm. yeah, when you come here um, and if you come to meet the last of, of these headhunters, that there's so much more than just headhunters. Yes, you know, 70 years ago, they, they may have hunted a few heads, but uh, he's, they're just, he's a nice, normal old man um, with a very rich history. So, Mai Dong, thank you. Mm. Okay.